In order to stand any chance at raising money for your startup, you need to communicate six things in your pitch with crystal clarity. Yo, what's up everyone? My name is JDM, AKA Josh David Miller, and I create videos here on YouTube to help you launch your startup sooner and scale it faster. And this Quick Tip Tuesday is all about what investors are looking for in your pitch, so let's dive in. At its core, what any investor is looking for in a startup pitch is a credible theory of hugeness. There are three words there, credible theory and hugeness. Let's break them down in reverse order. So first is hugeness. These are investors that are looking to give you money in order to get a lot more money in return. And in order for them to get that lots more money in return, you have to have the ability to grow your startup very, very large. This is where we often say you have to be attacking a really big TAM, a really big total addressable market so that you can capture a large share of that and have that amount to substantive returns. In fact, speaking of returns, most investors are looking for at least a 10x return on what they put in. So that's the hugeness, incredible theory of hugeness. But you're not huge now, so you have to say how you're going to get from your small state currently to the future huge state. That theory is really just four components, who, what, how, and why. First, who is the customer that's out there in this really big market with a problem you can solve? Second, what is the value proposition and the product that you're creating for them? How are you going about the process of solving? that problem. Third, how are you going to grow? If you're early on, this is going to be go to market. How are you going to get those initial first few customers? How are you going to get from those first few customers into a lot more customers? And then how are you going to get from a lots of customers to that exponential hockey stick growth of customers that we've all come to expect? And then fourth is the why. This is why does this make money? This is the revenue model, the unit economics and so forth. It's not just enough to sell a bunch of customers. You have to sell a bunch of customers in a way that creates a lot of profit. You have to have a customer whose problem you're solving, you're creating a value value proposition with the product. You have a means of getting that product into customers' hands and growing to lots and lots of customers. And then all of that's going to pencil out in the end to create money. So you have a theory of how you're going to get huge. So lastly, in our credible theory of hugeness is that that theory of hugeness has to be credible. Meaning you're saying this theory is right because. And the evidence usually comes in the form of four T's. This theory is right because the timing is right. Because of trends in the marketplace, now is the perfect time to start solving this problem in order to capture the wave of growth that's already just percolating out there somewhere. This theory is right because of the team, because we have the right people in place and the ability to acquire new people onto the team in order to take us from where we are to that big, huge vision that we have for the future. This theory is right because of the technology, because of the IP, because we're able to build something that is not only valuable, but also defensible. It's not something that's just going to get obliterated by the competition. And this theory is right because of our traction. The theory is right because customers are already telling us, yes, they're signing up and that's evidence that we're on the right track. So we have a theory of hugeness that is credible because we have the right timing, the right team, the right technology, and the right traction. And all of that combines together to form into that credible theory of hugeness, that you have the ability to get really large, that you have a theory of how you're gonna get from small to large, and that you have evidence to show that not only is that theory right and reasonable, but evidence to show that you've already made substantive progress on your path to implementing that theory. And if you think about it, a startup pitch is just telling that story of your credible theory of hugeness in 10 slides. And that 10 side pitch is often where things continue to fall off the rails for founders. So if you don't want that to be you, then I recommend checking out this video where I talk about the top 10 pitching mistakes that I see founders make all the time. And that's it for this video. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.